Hey there! Time now for the final My Three Picks of the 2017 season. It's been a fun year, and so far it's been an overall winning year for me as well as for this guy right here. That's right, that damn coin. Coming up, coin and I will go head-to-head -head one final time. We'll pick three conference championship games. But before we do that, let's go ahead and review how the coin and I did last week. Well, so far this year, I haven't had a winless week, but I haven't had a perfect week either. So, hey, why stop now with recent tradition, right? <laughs> I went two out of three this past week winning on Auburn. Not only did Auburn cover, but they ended up winning straight up. And LSU, well, they covered against Texas A&M, the final game, of course, for Kevin Sumlin as Aggie coach. The game I lost on, well, South Carolina costed me. This game was not even close. I thought South Carolina getting all those points was going to at least cover. Well, as a result, South Carolina, uh, they got blown out. They needed about 30 or 40 points, as it would appear. So Clemson won that game. By the way, the coin, well, it knows what it's like to be perfect because it's perfect once before the season. Well, it's perfect once again, winning all three of its matchups. So entering the final week, you can see right there a one-game difference between me and the coin. Um, right now, I'm at 21 and 18, the coin at 22 and 17. All right, everybody, let's get it cranking. Remember, if the coin lands on heads, likes the favorites, tails is going to go with the underdog. Let's start with the SEC championship game from Atlanta. You've got Auburn against Georgia. Winner goes to the playoff. The loser, well, no playoffs for them. Might remember not long ago when these teams played at Auburn, the Tigers had their way beating Georgia at that time was number one. Auburn entering this game, though, carry on Johnson, their terrific running back. Looks like he'll play, but he's probable, won't be 100%. And that could put a lot of pressure on Jared Stidham, the Auburn quarterback. That could be bad news for Auburn. That means shorter possessions, and that could very well favor Georgia. I'll look for Georgia's ground game to be a little bit better than they were before. And I know it's not a home game for Georgia, but it is home slanted, being able to play in Atlanta. Auburn will bring plenty of fans, but Georgia will have a crowd advantage. So give me Georgia in this game, plus the one and a half in the minor upset and the coin. Now the coin, it is going to go with Georgia as well. Now let's go to the ACC in Charlotte. You got Clemson, the defending national champions, against Miami. The Hurricanes were undefeated until last week when they threw a clunker at Pittsburgh. Big shock. Thing about this game, I love Clemson's defensive line. I think they will control the game, and they'll make it hard for Miami to move the ball. Just like Auburn, Georgia, I'm not expecting this game to be high scoring either, but Clemson's defensive line is going to be too much for Miami to handle, so give me Clemson minus the nine points. And the coin, uh, the coin, it's going to go with Miami. And finally, Big Ten. You got Ohio State versus Wisconsin. The Badgers, the only Power Five unbeaten left. But of course, their schedule has not exactly been a gauntlet. Ohio State's played a tough schedule, lost twice. But I think in a game like this, you look at Ohio State's quarterback, JT Barrett. He looks like he's going to play, but he did have surgery this week. That's a little bit scary that you have surgery the same week that you're about to play. And you're going against a very good Wisconsin defense. I don't think much of Wisconsin's offense, but I do think their defense in a game like this um, is one you have to reckon with. Ohio State is giving six points. I think that's way too many points considering how good the Badgers' defense is. So give me Wisconsin plus the six points. And for the final time this year, let's flip the coin. And the coin is going to go with the Badgers as well. So one disagreement between me and the coin that means the best I can do is tie with the coin this year. So I'm either going to lose by two or we're going to finish dead even. I cannot beat the coin this year in the yearly standings. Reminder, I will have the results coming up um, on Sunday, uh, most likely on my OUTCU show, unless I decide to do another show. But it looks like OUTCU postgame on Sunday, I'll have the results between me and the coin. Uh, just a reminder, we will have some more shows coming up as well. Um, we are going to uh, repost my year-by-year -year, uh, team review shows. We had to pull it because I did make one mistake on there, and YouTube doesn't let you do annotations anymore, so I could not uh, correct it as far as text message. So uh, I'll have that posted uh, real soon just in case you didn't get to see it. Uh, that's why I had it yanked the first time. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. I will have also, too, a 
uh, Big 12 uh, Bowl preview show. All the Big 12 teams that made bowl games will dedicate a show uh, for them. And, of course, coming up uh, later in December, the OU Bowl matchup show. Hopefully, it's for the college football playoff, either the Rose or the Sugar. But, of course, that will depend on how my seniors do against the Horned Frogs tomorrow in Arlington. Well, time now for me to go to my real job. Thanks for watching, not only today, but all year long of my three picks. So long, everybody. Ah.